Well, welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We are here watching the Growler Pack face off against the Shadow Squad. Shadow Squad has had a decent season. They're two in one so far. They're looking to make up for that last loss they had against the Sleepers. While the Growler Pack do the opposite. They're one in two. If they win tonight, they can tie up with the Growler, uh, Shadow Squad. In fact, I believe they will pass them. So this is an important match for them. There goes a Toxic Spikes. That's coming from the Shadow Squad. Good start. Um, as long as there is no poison Pokemon on the other side of the field, they will get poisoned. But there goes a stat poison. Super effective move against the Grookey. And it gets poisoned right there. Great. Great job by the Bulbasaur on the Growlithe pack. Almost knocked the Grookey out in one turn. Shadow Squad definitely didn't want to see any moves like that. Here we go with the Willow Wisp. Good idea. Good idea. The burn lowering Bulbasaur's attack also going to do some damage at the end of every turn. Grookey knows it's going to go down and uh, it's just going to try and make it up for the rest of his team here. There we go. Bulbasaur is going for a sky attack. Interesting. That's is can Grookey live? Grookey doesn't live through the poison. No. Okay, the Shell Squad wanted Grookey to live through that poison so that the Sky Attack doesn't land on their next Pokemon. Unfortunately, it does not work out for them. Definitely not what they wanted to see as they send out their War Turtle. Gonna have to make up a lot of ground as Grookey was unable to do a lot besides the burn. And there goes a U-turn. Interesting, War Turtle gonna swap out immediately and go to the Blastoise. I wonder if this tactic is a good idea. Blastoise will be hit by that sky attack, but um, Blastoise is probably the best Pokemon to take it. Plus the burn is gonna reduce any physical attacks. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, barely does anything to the Blastoise. Shadow Squad trying to quickly get through the Bulbasaur and possibly the second Pokemon on the Growlithe pack. We'll see if that works out as the Blastoid goes for a Water Shuriken. It's resisted, but it's stabbed. See how much damage it does. Not a lot on the individual hits, and it only hits two turns. It gets Bulbasaur below half health, but not exactly what they wanted to see. Here we go. Bulbasaur goes with that Seismic Toss. It's just hit by that burn. Seismic Toss doing a good amount of damage, actually, but Blastoise here. Going with the Floral Heal. No, that's the opposite of what they want to do. Floral Healing's actually going to heal up the Bulb uh, yeah, the Bulbasaur, giving it more life. That was a huge mistake by the Shadow Squad. As Bulbasaur drops the Worry Seed, getting rid of Blastoise's ability. So now I have Insomnia, no more Rain Dish. Not like that was really useful for the Blastoise, but um, now it can't heal if there's ever rain out here. There we go. Blastoise gonna go ahead with the Razor Shell. Another stab water move. Problem is, I, I get that it's going for stab moves. The problem though, is that it doesn't really work out because it's resisted. There goes the Dragon Rush. Blastoise below half its health. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur is gonna like sweep through the entire team. I can't believe I'm seeing this. There goes a the sleep powder. It doesn't affect the Bulbasaur. Bad move again. You can't use powder moves on grass type Pokemon. Liquidation, that's gonna be resisted. Pretty much the first bad move we've seen from the Growlithe pack here tonight. They've been on fire. There we go, Blastoise. There goes the sand attack. Interesting. Okay, yeah, if Bulbasaur can't land a hit, <laughs> then you get to survive a little bit. Shadow Squad needs to heal the Blastoise, and then they've got to rethink their attacking strategy. Either. It's not working out for them. Here we go. Another good hit from the Bulbasaur. And Blastoise is almost out. Here we go, Blastoise looking to do something. There goes a court change. Wait a second. Does that put the Toxic Spikes on 
the Shadow Squad side. Oh my goodness, the Shadow Squad are just, they're working against each other. The Yawn fails because of the insomnia that the Bulbasaur put on the Blastoise there. But the Shadow Squad are working against each other. They put down the Toxic Spikes. Now Blastoise has swapped it to their own side of the field. So now their Pokemon would be poisoned. Bulbasaur uh, below half health again after the pound. And here comes Bulbasaur now with the heals again. Oh my gosh. It heals again. They just can't get rid of this Bulbasaur. It's impossible. And it's been burned the entire time. It's been burned the entire time and it's just still on the field. They cannot get rid of it. Blastoise now with a pet. Oh my gosh. A pedal dance. One of the worst moves it could possibly do that is four times resisted from the Bulbasaur. Now it's stuck in the pedal dance as well as Bulbasaur is just playing around right now. It goes for a splash. Doesn't need to attack because Blastoise is shooting itself in the foot. There goes the pedal dance again. Barely doing any damage. Will Bulbasaur attack this time or is it just gonna celebrate? Here comes a drill run. Drill run hits, doesn't do a lot of damage. But then again, Bulbasaur doesn't have to. The burn does take it below half its health. Will it remain there is the question. Third pedal dance, they have to hope this pedal dance ends. It was a critical hit this time, so it does a little bit more. It does in, but now Blastoise has to deal with the confusion. There we go, a Geomancy. <laughs> wow, okay. Bulbasaur with a two turn charging up move, gonna raise his stats. We'll see if it lasts long enough to drop the Blastoise, it could. There goes the confusion, will Blastoise break through it? It, it actually hits itself. Giving Bulbasaur the opportunity to actually complete the Geomancy. And that is the story of the Shadow Squad tonight. They've just been a great ball of confusion, hitting themselves basically throughout the match. Bulbasaur finally in the danger zone. No thanks to the Blastoise. The burn actually has taken it down there. Here comes the, the Bulbasaur now faster. It's gonna go with the Fury Swipes. It's avoided. Blastoise not confused anymore. It goes for a sing. You can't do that because Bulbasaur is burned, so another wasted turn. Here we go, a shell sidearm. It's avoided again. The sand attack it used earlier is what worked. Here we go, there goes the smack down from the Blastoise. And Bulbasaur finally faints. What a struggle for the Shadow Squad here tonight. They've barely been able to do anything. Here, here we go. Rap Boot is going to come out on the field for the Growlithe Pack. Here we go. Rap Boot still faster with the Zen head, but. Zen head, but takes Blastoise into the danger zone. As Blastoise goes for a power split, wasted turn. Just a wasted turn. Story of the Shadow Squad here tonight. Here we go, a takedown coming from the Rabu. That might actually do it. It does, Blastoise faints. And the Shadow Squad are left with just the War Turtle to go up against the Rabu and the Marsh Chomp. Not so sure it can do it, but we'll see what happens. MVP of the match, clearly Bulbasaur. There goes the toxic spikes that the Shadow Squad put on their own side of the field. So now War Turtle has to deal with that. There we go. There goes a water spout. That's resisted, but does a decent amount. War Turtle looking to retaliate. War Turtle goes for the Drill Peck. Drill Peck doing a decent amount of damage, and there goes that poison. War Turtle's going to have to act quickly using the strongest moves it in its repertoire to win. That's the only way it can get past. It has to do it before the poison takes it out. 
Rabu putting down the electric terrain. And here we go. War Turtle now. With the Trop Kick, not very effective. Grass type moves is not the way to go. Barely does anything, but does lower Rabu's attack. I'm not sure you want to focus on lowering the stats this time since you have to deal with the poison. Lowering the attack is not the greatest idea. Here comes Raboot now. It's going to go with the submission. Submission doing a lot of damage. Critical hit as well as War Turtle within the danger zone. There we go. There goes a round from the War Turtle. That does a good amount of damage, Raboot in the yellow. And the poison, oh, there's only one more turn for War Turtle. This match is all but over. There we go, there's the metronome. And the zap, oh, that, if it, it does land, that is just overkill. War Turtle goes down right there and the win goes to the Growlithe pack. They're able to even things up for themselves. Catching up with the Shadow Squad, what an excellent match by the Growlithe Pack there. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Metro Madness League. Of course, special thanks to our patrons. We have John Walker and Stephanie Powers supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can hit that link in the description below to become a patron. Of course, we have a link to our Discord as well. We'll love for you to become a part of the community. So why don't you check it out and join us? With that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.